While I've been reviewing all of these solar solutions, inverters, batteries and renewable energy applications for your home, the one thing that I've noticed that they all have in common is they don't seem to get the front end user presentation of the data. It's the interface into the solution you've bought. You've bought a piece of hardware, a dumb battery or a dumb piece of solar panels on your roof and your only image of that solution that you've purchased is the graphical display, the data that they provide for you. Otherwise you wouldn't even know it was there, you wouldn't even know it was working. And yet all of these companies, and I can't find one that's an exception yet, have flaws with their systems. They all provide different information, different graphs. Some have this missing, some have that missing, some do this well, some do that poorly. Why is it that they can't just get something very very simple right? So let's simplify this. We're only talking about two different computer programs talking to each other and transferring small packets of data. And then you need a presentation layer where you can show that data with different time intervals and different ways of presenting the data in chart form, graph form, data form. We're not talking very much data. It's not very complicated. We're talking kilowatt hours, kilowatts, time, maybe temperature of the battery, volts, amps, just a couple of pieces of information. And yet in my view, all these different companies that should be doing the same thing with the same data, presenting it really, really well, well, frankly, they make a bit of a hash of it. So let me explain myself. The first common element that all these systems need is a real-time interface. Show the data to the customer, show it moving so that they know their system's alive and working, and show them the values, the values that are important to them. How much am I generating? How much am I saving? How much am I charging? All those sort of things. This is an extract from the Solar Edge app. It's quite a good app, but actually in the real-time side, it's pretty static. It looks more like a picture than a video than a moving image. The My Energy app, on the other hand, does a much better job of it. It's got some icons that aren't really moving. It's just like a GIF image, but it gives the impression of data moving, showing the flow of energy between the different devices. And it does move and update every five seconds, so it's pretty good. The Solar Edge was updating quite quickly as well, but it didn't look good. The My Energy app looks better with the black background, nice bright colours, it's got a sense of something moving, it looks alive. It's a very good interpretation of the live interface. And this next interface, well this is with the Give Energy battery solution. Unfortunately it's only available on iPhones and the computer interface, so this is on a Chrome browser. But look at it, the white background's not as good as the My Energy's black background, there's no data value showing on any of those icons in the middle. The little balls that are showing you the direction of energy, they're not quite as obvious and there aren't as many of them as the My Energy one. You can see that everything right about My Energy is wrong here. The data values are static, they're not refreshing, apart from every couple of minutes. Zooming in a bit further, you can really see the difference here. That you know, What are those lines for? What, what are they achieving? The white background, it's just blending in, the colours aren't bright enough. It's so obvious what's wrong with this chart. Similar story here with the Lux Power solution. So this is from the AC connected battery solution from Lux Power. And yeah, we've got now lots of flashy uh, icons showing the movement of data. So better than the Give Energy one, but still the white background and the very small icons, not quite such a good job as My Energy. But now you've got data values. So this is doing better than Give Energy in my mind, but not quite as good as My Energy. Sadly though, this is static, this isn't updating again, not for every two or five minutes. And now a completely different interpretation from the VRM solution. This is the remote console with the Victron inverter for battery solutions and exactly the same as what I'm using with the Pure Drive Energy battery. So the icons are good, the colours are clear, white background again, not quite as good in my opinion, data values are there and it's refreshing pretty regularly. So this is a good interface, but can you believe it's really awkward to get to? It's not on the front page, it's not the first thing you see. It's not as good. Why is it so hard for some of these companies to get this so wrong? It's not difficult, is it? It needs to be clear to see. It needs to be showing the visual side of where data is flowing. The energy flow is important. It needs to show the values. And of course, it needs to refresh regularly and actually be live. I haven't got any footage of the Tesla battery app for the Powerwall, but I believe it's sort of similar to the My Energy app. It's pretty good. As I said at the beginning, they all do the job but they just do it differently with different levels of success. 
So beyond the real-time interface, looking at the data, what do we actually want to see? And what do the different companies show you first thing? Now this is part of the display from the first screen from the Lux Power solution. And I'm using this here as an example several times because I think it shows really, really well that we're only interested in four areas of data. This isn't complex stuff. The solar, how much we're yielding, how much we're generating, the feed in of energy, how much we're importing or exporting, the battery, how much we're discharging or charging, and the consumption, how much have we used at the house or the other device. The front page of the Lux Power solution shows you those four quadrants of data and they're interactable. If you click them, each one will show you a little bit more data. Plus also you've got the live interface below. Scroll the page across and then you get access to some more detailed data. So the Lux Power not a bad presentation for what they show you and what they make available very quickly and easily. So the Give Energy solution doesn't have an Android app, it has iPhone and a computer interface, and it's very, very different to Lux Power. It's not as condensed, it's not as easy to see. A bit more scrolling to be done. But the graphs, yeah, they're pretty good, and they're available there on the first page to scroll around. So easy to access, just like the Lux Power solution. Looking at the Solar Edge app, you can see on the left here, this is my system, and you can see what import and export data you have. Nice clear graph. But on the right hand side, there's an example of how the Solar Edge data changes when you add a battery. You basically get an additional graph showing you the state of charge of the battery over time, which is a new key piece of information. Solar Edge also breaks down your consumption into how much is coming from your battery as well as how much is coming from your solar panels. But it doesn't show how much energy is going into the battery. It only shows how much is coming out of it. So it doesn't have all the data that, for example, the Lux Power solution has. Then we have the Victron Inverter VRM application. That's both on apps and on the internet. And what you can see here is with the blue line, that's showing the state of charge over time of the battery. Really key piece of information. But where's the data? There's no data. Those four quadrants of important pieces of information. How much import, export, battery charging, battery discharging, solar yield, house consumption. That's just not there. The data, the numbers just aren't there. That's a real drawback with this VRM solution. Yes, you've got these pale orange and red bar charts supposedly showing you consumption, but they just don't work. Also, you've got the colours. The colours are very pastel shades. They're just not very clear. Again, VRM seems to be losing the plot. It's not presenting it very well, and it hasn't got the key pieces of information. But at least it does have the battery state of charge over time. The Give Energy display only shows you what the state of charge of the battery is now. It doesn't show it over time. The date is good. The graph for it isn't. Lux Power is the same. You get a single number, state of charge, right now doesn't show you state of charge over time. That really should be a standard piece of information, a standard graph. But let's log back into the Give Energy solution and scroll down to where the graph is and show you a really neat feature. So when they're showing you the energy that's being used, the amount of import, export, solar generation and house consumption data, this should be a standard graph really. It's on the solar edge, it's also here on Give Energy, but what you've got here on this Give Energy one is you can select the items and take them off the graph and then add them back in yourself. So here we're just showing grid import and it changes the scale automatically. So when you're looking at a small value, it's not a tiny piece of color on the chart. It's big enough for you and it's zoomable. So this is really, really cool. The My Energy app, well, that's not quite so good. First problem, data is really, really slow to load. Monthly data, that actually times out. So obviously the database, that's a bit of a problem. But the graphs, they're really clear. And now you can actually see the data with the latest release. When it's in a mobile phone app, you should always be able to swap into landscape mode and change the orientation of the graphs. Not all apps do it. My Energy now does in the latest release. Clear graphs, being able to swap to landscape mode, zooming in, scales changing, being able to see the data clearly, that's what's important. If we look here at the Lux Power solution again, the zooming capability in the app is pretty poor. We're talking a line chart here, not an area chart for the same type of data. And moving it, I'm scrolling between pages, not being able to get the zoom to work very well. Can't see the data very well in the uh, bars either. 
the stacked bar chart at the bottom, well, they're just too many data points and I can't really zoom in how I want to to be able to see them very clearly. So the Lux Power's first page is absolutely brilliant, but this second page with the power details, the input and output power, and then uh, this stacked um, column chart, absolutely useless. I really do find this a poor implementation compared to the other systems. And I think this is typical of what we're seeing with these applications, that some features are really, really good. The data on the front screen of this Lux Power is probably one of the best, but this, the input and output power, is probably the worst. Compare that to the Solar Edge app, well, there's no comparison. Solar Edge, I think, is probably the best for the clarity of the graphs, um, how you can scroll and zoom in and move across the screen. The only thing it lacks is that it doesn't automatically change the scale when you're looking at small bits of data. And that's a bit of a problem for Solar Edge. But clarity and usability and how it drags on the fingers, it's absolutely the best. Now, if I go across and look at the month view, you can see all these um, column charts again and uh, it's much harder to see what they are so when you want to zoom you want to zoom in nice and clearly and nice and detailed mm -hmm. so you can click on the individual ones and see the values you can't do that on the Lux Power solution so going back to the Victron app the VRM application this is what I have for my battery that I have installed if you click on this and go into the graphs there's also some really cool features here for changing the time of the graph, whether you're showing a few hours or a day, etc. If you look at the bottom where it says 12 hours, then scroll down, you've got all of these quick ranges. So instead of doing a custom thing or having to type it all in, you just click the one you want, whether it's two days, seven days, yesterday, the last 12 hours, last three hours, you know, for a whole month or a year. Or there's a custom one where you can change just for the dates and times that you want. It's really, really easy to use. Yes, it takes the whole screen up, but you just scroll back again and then the date is there that you want. This is really, really good, and this is how all the apps should be, having quick ranges. This is the best feature for selecting time ranges with the Victron VRM app. Really, really cool. And note my energy, look how fast the graph's updated. Whether you're doing an hour, a day, a week, it's instantaneous. That's a real problem with my energy that they need to sort out, speed and responsiveness of the data. Flicking back to the Solar Edge app, you can see here with the different time ranges, you've only got day, week, month, year, and billing. If this had the quick ranges from the Victron app, it would be so much better. So Solar Edge, they're just missing out on an opportunity of giving you the selected ranges that you want. Day, week, month, and year, they're standard. A lot of apps have them, and that's the minimum they should have. What you really want is more. You want those quick ranges that Victron use. Really, really good feature. And while we're talking about timeframes, one of the things that you've got to be able to have in these apps is to scroll, some easy clicking or touch sensitive scrolling across different timeframes. And again, look at the responsiveness. The data is all there instantly and it's available at the touch of your fingertips, literally. The Give Energy solution isn't too bad. It's pretty much the same as Solar Edge, but the Lux Power one, well, yeah, that's pretty poor again on this uh, power chart. One, it's the line chart, it's not very clear, but changing the days, it's pretty slow to respond. And, uh, you know, again, you just can't see the data that you want to see. You can only change the individual day as well. So for that line chart at the top, you can change the day only. You can't show weeks, you can't show months, you can't show years, but the chart below showing the columns, that's got months and years. You can't see days and you can't see weeks. The idea is that you're supposed to be able to zoom in and look at the numbers of the different individual days. But again, it's so awkward to use, it just doesn't work. Lux power on this page is useless in my opinion. And then we've got the My Energy app again. So let's click through from the center here to see what the data is. It's a little bit slow, we have to wait for the data to show up. And there we go. Now if we change the uh, day at the top, so select down, select yesterday. Again, you know, it's annoying that we have to wait so long for the data, but that's how you select it. So like with VRM, you've got your quick links. These are the quick links, but you've only got today, yesterday, this week, last week, this month, last month, and custom. Custom brings up a um, calendar. You click the day that you want and you wait for the individual day. But just wait for it to update. Oh, it really is slow this time. OK, 
okay if we go back in into the custom and select a different date an older date say april the first no it's not an april fool but uh, if we click on that it comes up really quickly because there's nothing there so my energy has got a problem that they've got missing data in their database again it's just not accessible if we go out of this and go into another normal day and then try and select a week let's see what happens here yeah, you're starting to get the idea of how frustrating this is when it's not responsive. So change it to be this week. Now, because there's more data in a week than there is a day, obviously, it doesn't look like the data is being stored in an aggregated way with my energy. They must be doing a much longer search in their database because it's taking a much longer time to show weekly data. And if you then go and do a monthly selection, which I'm not going to show you with this, it will just take so long it actually times out. So my energy, they're not doing very well on the responsiveness of the app and how to show the different days. There's no swiping either. You can't um, swipe between days. You have to go back to that calendar and select the next one. So it's just missing that core obvious feature of being touch sensitive and interactive on the graphs. The my energy graphs aren't interactable from being zoomable, touchable to see what the values are or for swiping across to get the next day. So a bit of a weakness. One feature that I'd like to see in all these apps, but it's really only sort of shown in this Lux Power app, is when you've got the data and you're just looking at numbers, sometimes you want to convert it to be a pie chart, then you'd like to convert it over time to show it as an area chart, or then you'd want to try it as a line chart. Why can't we change the type of graph that's showing the data? Basically, I'd like to be able to tailor the view of the data just for myself, whether it be colour or style. So the point to this video, well, the point is when you're looking for a solar solution, whether it be the inverter for your solar panels or your battery solution, and again, the inverter for your battery, then part of choosing the battery isn't just the size of it and the speed of it and the price of it, it's the interface that comes with it. So I've been looking at the different battery solutions, trying to find what I want from a perfect battery solution, and it just really does not exist, and that's the problem. What we need are more updates for these apps. We need the developers of these solutions to look at theirs with an open mind, then look at the competition and take the best elements of each. The responsiveness, the amount of data, the ease of selecting the time ranges, zoomable, changing scales. We need all of those things in every one of these apps because until one of them gets it all right, there isn't a perfect solution. But as soon as they do, as soon as a new player gets it perfect, the front end user solution That'll be what'll sell the battery, if of course they get the price right. Thanks for watching, as always. Please like the video if it's provided any benefit to you at all and you've watched it to the end, then you probably have enjoyed it. So click like, please, and subscribe to more videos. See you again soon. Bye bye for now.